guys, it's Chili, and today I'm here with the wonderful Tanika from Flipping Through Pages. Hi. We have created our very own book tag. It is called Bookmas Book Tag, and it involves seven questions <laughs> about Christmas. Yay! So Yay. your best is yes. Christmas time. We'll say like a question and then each of us will take turns in answering it. Yes, yeah. so we'll have different yeah. books uh, between us because yeah. we have different opinions. Yeah. Question one, what book do you hope Santa leaves you under your tree this Christmas? Who's going first, me or you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously on the naughty list. <laughs> The scissors is rock. Aww. Yes. Okay. I want under my Christmas tree a book that many of you probably want, and that is A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is a book in the A Court of Thorn and Roses series by Sarah J. Maas, and yeah, excitement very I'm much. I'm so excited to like for the cover review yes, as well. Oh my god. That's gonna have to be coming soon. And mine is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor because I need that in my <laughs> life so bad, and like everyone on Twitter is getting arcs at the moment, and I can't deal with life. Form of torture. <laughs> it is. It's like it's I keep seeing them and I'm like, I want to. I hate arcs and at the same time love them. Like when somebody else gets them, it's like, why? And yeah. then you get them, it's just like, woo! <laughs> Question number two is if you could give only one book as a present, what book would it be and to who? So the book I'm going with for this question is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Mm. A happy, like, fun cute read. Simon. I know. So like whether you're in a happy mood or a sad mood or any kind of mood, I think everyone cool. should read this because it will make you just so happy and smile the entire time. It's the perfect. I love it. Perfect. Yeah. And I would, um, surprise, surprise, do The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzze. She copied my answer. <laughs> It's because it's a good answer, <laughs> but everybody should read the book thief because it's once again another perfect book and it's it kind is. of a life-changing book. So read it. It's you have amazing. It. Question number three is uh, what books go on the naughty list? So these are basically bad books yeah. that you've read. We have three books each that we think goes on the naughty list this year and um, first one is Nerve by Jeanne Ryan and this became a movie with Emma Roberts and yeah. Dave Franco yeah. and so like I was so excited because the trailer was awesome so I was like cool I'll read the book. Yeah the movie is much better. The book was a real letdown. So I that, that's a naughty book. Second one um, I did like this book Book, but they did this trope that I really hate in it and so it's going on the naughty list because it was bad bad and that is The Winner's Kiss by Maria Rotkowski. If you guys have read it you know exactly what I'm talking about but I won't I spoil it. I yeah, well, you'll know. <laughs> and lastly, I have The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. This was recently released in November. So. Something like that, you know? Yeah. And this, although it's an amazing sci-fi book, the world building in it is absolutely amazing. The storyline for me about halfway through just kind of dropped and I did enjoy it. So that goes naughty. So the books on my naughty list, first of all, is like one of my most hated series of all time ever, and that is Halo <laughs> by Alexandra Aronero. I, I haven't read the last book in this series because I don't want to like torture mm. myself <laughs> but basically I just found this really problematic I hate the main character I think it's like really really sexist as well it I can't I can't deal no. at all it naughty. does my head in it's naughty. a very naughty <laughs> <laughs> and the second lot of books that are on my naughty list are the Hush Hush series oh, by yeah. Becca Fitzpatrick. Oh yeah. And again, this is just another series that I could not finish because like I read up to book three, I think, and I hate the main character. I hate the love interest because he's like naughty, but in a really, really like crappy way. Yeah, <laughs> he really is. A, and that's how you describe it. Yeah, not very nice people at all. And the last book that is on my naughty list is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. While I had a lot of potential, I didn't really enjoy it. Like, I thought it was super overhyped, and here the book is now covering Tilly's face. She's become a book <laughs> that I hate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And number four is what books go on the nice list, which is good books that you have read this year, and there are plenty. So I had to narrow this down to just four books because, you know, yeah, it's a good book. Mm -hmm. so the first one, um, obviously, we both love, mm -hmm. if you just <laughs> notice that, and that is Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second in the Illuminae files, the first one is Illuminae. So this book is absolutely amazing. It has got, like, 
characters that are great, plot that's great. The way that it's written too is really fast paced and you guys will just tear oh. through it. Secondly, it is this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I wasn't sure if she had the BE <laughs> or not. I really liked this and it's one of those books that when I was reading it, I enjoyed it and I'm still thinking about it and I still really enjoy it. So that's good. And the second one comes out next year. Like mm. most book series that... <laughs> most book series I'm looking at you. <laughs> a Court of Mr. and Fury by Sarah J Maas and this is another like favourite book so of course it's going on the nice list. And lastly, for another well-loved yes. book, amazing, phenomenal, definitely one of the best books of 2016, Cricket Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I love it so much. It's so great. It's ruined my life. I love it. And I'm okay with it. <laughs> my pile's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so the books that I have on my nice list um, is first of all The Pause by John Larkin and those of you who maybe watch my channel would know how much I'm obsessed <laughs> with this book. Um, it is about a boy named Declan and he ends up teetering on the edge of committing suicide and it really explores depression in a really really like realistic raw kind of way. It's so well done. Like it's one of my favourite books ever. I loved it so much. Definitely on my nice list. And the second book on my nice list is A Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. And. Lainey Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have her a few times. <laughs> yeah, love Lainey Taylor. <laughs> I love Lainey Taylor so much. She's one of my all-time favourite authors. I think everyone needs to read this book because characters are amazing, the world building is oh. amazing, the plot is yeah. amazing, and just amazing. This <laughs> this whole book is amazing. <laughs> read it. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do it. And the last book on my nice list is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Oh. Oh, so good. I just recently read both this and Crook Kingdom and it's literally mm -hmm. taken over my life. Mm -hmm. Like I'm obsessed with all of the characters. Yeah, you can't not. But if none of you have read it, you totally should because oh. it's totally worth the read. It's worth yeah. the hype. I think that like, if yeah. any of these books in this pile that you guys have to read, I would say Six of Crows. Mm. Question number five is which characters would you guys invite over for Christmas dinner? Can you imagine having one big party <laughs> with all of our chosen characters? Because we've all got pretty decent ones there. No. I totally agree. <laughs> so we we wouldn't be partying, we'd just be eating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was really hard because there like are so many characters that I love but not necessarily mm. like good for a dinner party. So I'm going to go with Rosa Hathaway from the Van Pry Academy series just because I want to be best friends with her. Yes. Like yes, I love amazing. her. She's like funny and she's badass. Yeah. And like if she's on your side, it'd be like the best friend. It's the best thing ever <laughs> if she was on your side. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, definitely Rose Hathaway. And then there is Zuzanna from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series as well. And I know I just mentioned this, but I think Zuzanna would be so entertaining and so funny at a dinner party. And she'd just be the perfect, like, friend to have mm -hmm. there. Because she'd make you laugh as well. Yes. Which I think is super important. She does. And lastly, <laughs> another the same book getting lifted back up. <laughs> another repeat <laughs> is Nina from Six of Crows and <laughs> Crooked Kingdom. Nina loves food. I love food. Everyone loves Everyone food. Everyone loves food, especially at Christmas, so oh. why not? She'd be like the perfect dinner Yes, guest. I would have Nina. I would have someone who would be a real good person to have that are a bad, <laughs> kind of like Rose Hathaway. I hope they'd be on my side. And that is Laurent from Captive Prince. Have you read this? Not yet. Oh my god. I, I own it, but I... It's like, it's, it's good. Like, the first book is a bit, like, weird. Mm -hmm. And then the second and third book is absolutely amazing. But, like, Laurent's, like, this really smart character who just does so many mind games. But it'd be so fun to be his friend and like be in on the mind games yeah. and watch it. Then I would also pick Lysandra from Throne of Glass. To me, she is very much like Nina from Six of Crows and since we all love her, we're gonna love Lysandra too. Lysandra is awesome, yeah. let's be real. Yeah, <laughs> no, if you so don't cool. like Lysandra, then yeah. like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I would have Thorn from the Lunar Chronicles as my last guest because he is hilarious and we love him lots and he would just be so fun to have there. I think he's like one of those characters that would be nice enough to like, you know, help bring out the food and then yeah. take the food Aww. away and wash the dishes yeah. and stuff. Perfect dinner party. Yes. Yeah. Question number six is pick two favourite characters. What gift would they give each other? <laughs> <laughs> so the two characters I would pick are from Six of Crows. If you can't tell, as soon as I thought of Six of Crows, I couldn't stop thinking of Six of Crows. Six of Crows everything? I know. And Vampire Academy as well. So I'm going with Nina. 
from Six of Crows mm -hmm. because I love her. Nina. And Adrian from Vampire Academy. And I think that would just give each other food. <laughs> like, because Adrian's like super nice and he would like go out of his way to like cook things yeah. and bake things yeah. and all of that kind of stuff. Picture like a little apron. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Apron. A kiss the chef apron. Yes! yes. Exactly. He would totally that. wear that. Yes. Yeah, and so he would give Nina like homemade baked goods. And then I think Nina would just give him food that she wants to eat, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Like, do you want to share this cake yeah. that I got for you? <laughs> got you this cake? Yeah. But it's, I want half. I think that's what she would be like. My characters, I chose Lisa from The Book Thief because, of course, The Book Thief. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> and I also chose Keller from A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab because, you know, we love him. I think that uh, Kel would obviously get Liesl a book. He would smuggle one through the little magical <laughs> places, the different Londons, and give her this like, amazing book and she'll be so yeah. thankful for it. And I think that Liesl, like would either, either steal him a book or mm. make him a book that's like about magic, like she'd write a book about him. Yeah. Or maybe like somehow steal a cape from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know, she she'll steal, steal it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I think that like they'd both be pretty happy with that. Yeah. yeah. So question seven, the final question of this tag, and it is pass along the gift of giving and tag your friends. So we have five people we're gonna tag on the video and then we'll tag a bunch of other ones on the comments because we want so many of you guys to do this video and we want to see your faces on the camera. We're really happy about yeah. this. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. And it's <laughs> so. Oops. <laughs> Not from Happy Comes First. Chemi from Read Like Wildfire. Casia from Books K. Kaz from Little Book Owl. And Emma from Emma Books. And the rest of you will be down below. Check it out. Check it out. And I'll also leave a link to Nika's channel because Yay! she's amazing. And you guys need to go watch her videos so you can see more of his face and more of Six of Crows and Lani Taylor. What? Lani Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. Sorry, Taylor. <laughs> We will also be doing a video at Tanika's channel and it will be the <laughs> We'll be doing the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean Challenge on my channel. It's gonna be a gross time. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to it. You know, like oh. jelly beans that have vomit flavor and earwax and dirt. And grass and all kinds of yum stuff. So ready, so ready for it. <laughs> but I will leave a link to the video so you guys can go and watch that. <laughs> what is most likely going to be a mess, but mm. a fun mess. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have enjoyed this tag and hopefully Thank you guys you. will do it too. Thank yes. you for letting me on your channel. Oh god, yeah. come all the time. So much fun when it's so many me. collabs because so we're in many. the same city. It's, so. it's coming guys. Yeah. You yeah. just wait for it. We just gotta keep coming up with ideas yeah. and <laughs> actually doing it and avoiding the heat. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we will see you again soon and until then have a lovely bookish day and hopefully mm -hmm. great things happen to you. Bye! Bye.